I can't tell you how fun it is to go to the Walmart and walk through during the school supply season and walk through the aisles and look at all the different pens and notebooks that they have there. I'm a real paper gal, so I love things like that. I did find my favorite friction pens on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed some so I can color code in my planner. She said, she said it does. <laughs> right, Missy? The fans are better than nothing. All right, I'm gonna try to get to some sleep. Missy's already out, so good night, everybody. When I adopted my son Christian at two and a half, I got into scrapbooking in order to leave him memories of his childhood. I also loved doing paper crafts with him and stopped as he got older. I do enjoy being around other crafters and seeing what they create. There are scrapbook and rubber stamp shows that are held annually all across the US. If you enjoy scrapbooking your memories when you travel or making cards for people back home or maybe you just like to be around other crafters and learn some new things I highly recommend going to a craft show somewhere in the US as you travel watching all the people very creative I think I'm one of the younger people that were there but everybody looked a lot older but it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun to see a lot of creative people and all the things that they make the next morning I took some time to do some shopping while at the Walmart An instant pot air fryer that looks cool see, I would love to have this in my RV instead of that gas thing. I have a generator I could use that I love that 119 I was looking for a smaller size cooler type bag for my lunch so I can prepare it in the mornings and have it ready when I stop for lunch during my travels. If I have a long drive ahead of me, I don't want to lose my momentum of driving by stopping to prepare a lunch. It makes me feel like staying a little bit longer than I should. This way I can just eat, put everything back in the bag 
and worry about cleanup after I get to my destination. I did like the collapsible bento style meal box, but decided to pass when they were out of other colors. I just if discovered the pioneer, I think these are the pioneer woman. I'm not sure, let me see. These are, the pioneer woman has melanin type plates. So if you wanna hang plates in your RV, this kind of material is good. And look at the, look at the variety that they have here. They're gorgeous. You can hang all of these up. This is really nice. If you wanted to decorate your RV in a shabby chic look, wow, those are really nice. You can hang those up. Cool. Okay, see all these beautiful tea towels? You can do the same thing I do with the pillowcases with these beautiful tea towels. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's because my curtains were made no so from actual pillowcases. I will link that video below. You can substitute beautiful tea towels for the pillowcase idea. This is perfect for changing out during different times of the year and different seasons. I also came across these do-it-yourself gift ideas. I thought they were a great idea to give to somebody who lives in an RV because they don't have a lot of room. Or if you have an RV and you have other friends that are in RVs, they're great for gift giving. They have like the body butter. You can make your own face masks. You can make candles, soap bars. And if you have people that live at home and have a bathtub, you can give them the one that's making bath bombs. I thought these were great. They were priced about $10, and I think it's a great idea for gifts. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hey guys, don't forget to pick up your pet emergency sticker for your RV. The link is in the description box below.